Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. We have part number four of our Rags to Riches series. We're gonna jump in now. Um, harvester here, and we have to head north to field 55. So hopefully um, we don't get lost. If we go this way, it's 55 is above 58 and 59. So uh, we go left here, possibly. Go to this view so I can see where we're going. We should be able to go between 59 and 58. Maybe, yep. Here. Maybe, maybe not. We can get to 55. Let's. Where did I go then? Turn right, no, we keep going through, there's 55, so we need to go along this field. That's what I thought I could see on the map, but I thought they might have actually kept the road for us to go through, that way we're not driving over everything. Um, there's been a fair few mods come out now with old school equipment like we're using at the moment. Um, so if we get started harvesting, I can probably show you guys um, a few of those mods once we get going. Um, GPS mod is out, I don't have it but it is out, it's available, but one thing that I do have here, um, trucks, we've got, where are you, this guy, 620 litres, 6,000 litres, it throws manure out, doesn't say how wide. Um, and then we've got this truck, 620 litres of fuel, 6,000 litres of um, fertiliser or weed spray. So we can use that for our weeds, 12,500, not too bad. Um, so we can get those. I think that's probably something we're going to look at. Loading wagons. We've also got... Um, uh, I don't know what the difference is between these two. That just does grass and hay and throws it into the back of this guy. This guy picks it up as well, throws it in the back of this guy. Um, that's our other sort of just loading wagon. So there's a few things that we can look at obviously once we get to that stage. Um, obviously got a fair way to go yet without rags to riches. But I think if we can get um, purchase that truck, 12,500 to get some weed spraying jobs. Uh, so weeding, weeding. We do actually have a um, weeder available as well. Um, look, we've got to run at Tom's 5, won't we? Um, we do have a weeder as well, which if I can line this guy up again, I'll be able to give you guys a quick look at. Quick look, where are we? Uh, weeders, we've got this guy. The puller, two meter, two meters width. Um, it will take us forever to weed a field with that. Um, so I'm thinking if we go the truck, yes, it's going to cost us a lot more outlay wise. Um, Twelve and a half thousand versus eleven fifty, but it's going to allow us to complete jobs a lot quicker. So I think if we do do look at that. Um, for our next episode, we can also, you know, fertilize with that as well. Fertilize with the truck. Um, obviously, the fertilizer spreader is a lot better compared to um, the sprayer. It doesn't use quite as much fertilizer than the sprayer does, but we need something to be able to go weeding. And I don't, don't want to purchase any of these because they're just too new. This guy is old, which is good, but it's just not wide enough. I mean, if that was maybe four meters, or six meters wide, um, I would probably look at it. But two meters wide is going to be um, terrible. It's going to take us forever, absolutely forever. So I've taken double yield off, as you guys know. Um, that last job, I didn't quite complete it because we didn't deliver the right amount because I removed um, double yield in the middle of the job. So hopefully this one will complete. Um, if it doesn't, I'll do what I did to the last one, which was complete the job or cancel the job. Um, yeah, so we cancelled the job, but then I just 
added that money into the game what we're supposed to get. So, I mean, this job, ten thousand, eleven thousand dollars. So, it's not bad. I think this will be the last job that we pretty much get done today. Um, other things I've downloaded. There are there was like a Fortrite pack sort of thing. Um, so we do have a couple of double doubled up sort of things. Um, we have the plow, which we've got two of. It's only 1.5 wide um, cultivator, the Fortrite cultivator, the Discarrower, Fortrite Discarrower. Um, and I think that was it. There's no cedars or planters or anything as yet. I said there's those other things for picking up our straw and hay and all that sort of stuff. Um, I did get a couple of new trailers as well, a couple of old school ones in here. Um, Fortrite ones doubled up as well because I'd already downloaded them separately and then a pack came out so I've downloaded the pack so I need to get rid of um, the individual mods or one of the individual mods, whatever. We need to get rid of one or the other and um, there was a fair few tractors that have come out as well which sort of match the theme that we're sort of going with with our Rags to Riches series. So I will try and show you guys those as well. I'll quickly have a look at a couple. We've got um, the Fortrite ones here. Um, we've got this guy here and that guy there as well. The Reconica and the IMT. You're going to miss them. The IMT one. Um, and then we also uh, picked up a couple of medium sized ones, so the Belarus, a uh, bigger IMT, Ursus Turbo, um, and all that. No large tractors as yet. Actually, there is a large tractor, but I don't think um, this map is one of the maps that we really should be using a large tractor on anyway, so we probably won't bother getting a large tractor, but we'll go and have a quick look. Um, the HTZ 17221 big beautiful tractor but it's really not that powerful considering um, you guys have seen the trucks still not going straight enough um, harvesters we've picked up the CK10 Potop forage harvester we've still got both of those guys that are the same there's no potato harvesters there's no sugar beet harvesters or anything like that as yet so it's still just what we've got. Um, so we've got sprayer truck as well. So there's a fair few new things that have come out, which is going to be good for our series. Um, hopefully you guys like the idea of grabbing that weed sprayer. And um, getting in and getting some of these fields sprayed. Try and square this up a little bit. So let's just go forward to here. I'm just starting to come back. I hate working on fields that aren't square. I'd much rather work on a square field than a non square field, but hopefully that'll be right. Um, I don't think none of this stuff. Or the animal, we've got this, the IFA multi-car as well, an old school uh, mixing truck. Don't think there's any new cars, no, nothing else really in here that is going to be any good. I think there might be a few smaller sheds, a few houses and stuff that I've downloaded as well for future use. Um, I've got the small horse paddock as well, which only gives us two horses, but that's pretty cheap. So that's something that... Um, we may look at once we get our own bit of land. It's a small horse paddock. We've got a small cow pasture. Um, we've got this one as well, only 10,000, but it's just like an open cow cow pasture, which is probably one of the ones we probably will look at. Getting the open cow pasture. It's nice and cheap. Especially with us just starting out. We don't really need to get a fancy one as such. Um, silos, I don't think there's anything new in there. Um, sheds, I did download uh, the Old Woodsman, which is a new one. I think that's the only new one we've got. 
to the frame barn, small shelter. I think you guys have already seen those. Um, miscellaneous. I don't think there's anything really new. This is these fertilizer tanks from FS17. Um, that's it. Decoration. I think the only thing new in here might be uh, this little Wayata shed. Probably just big enough for tractors, not big enough for our truck or harvesters or anything, but. Probably end up putting one of those somewhere once we get our our own field. Um, the other thing I've been thinking is we can do a field flipper as well if we wanted to. So these are the houses, couple of houses there. So if we go to buy, so, oop, wrong button. So if we go to buy fields um, 42 like we wanted to, and it's ready to harvest. You could buy that, and harvest it as you do, sell all the stuff and then sell the field again and buy another field that we've got enough money for which is ready to harvest do the same thing, harvest the crops um, sell it all, sell the field and move on and that sort of thing I mean it's probably not that realistic um, which is sort of what we're going for, a realistic series but you guys let me know if you think field flipping is a good idea let me know in the comments if you'd rather not do it, just buy our field uh, 42, whoop, down the bottom right hand corner there and um, turn that into maybe a silage field or something grass fields for us to make silage to bring in some money pretty quick um, or should we just run crops on it? No, you guys let me know um, as I said the field flipping sounds like a good idea but I said with a series that we're trying to do here which is a more hardcore slash realistic series I don't think field flipping is really that good an idea. Um, the other thing I guess I've spoken about before is our jobs. Like our weeding jobs, they really aren't that much. Um, I think what I might do is, whatever the base price is, so 839, I might times it by 3, 577 times it by 3, and then have that as our weeding and fertilizing price and then harvesting I guess I mean we can do that for everything whenever there's a job available um, times times that job by three and then that way like at least it feels like we're actually getting somewhere um, I mean for that sort of stuff it's not a lot of money even this field was only gonna be about 5,000 for us to harvest but um, I don't know was said in the other videos if that is a good price or not I feel like for us it's not It'll take us a long time to get anywhere but so I think times it by three so harvesting we're not even going to bother doing that but so field 29 harvesting times that by three we're not going to do it either so maybe this one times by three so field 53 will be seven and a half thousand uh, where are we so there wow so that's Field 53, 7,500. So that should be more than 7,500. Or we've made this field worth too much. I don't know. You guys let me know. Um, let me quickly have a look at our. No, our sound's still good. I might bump it up. Just that little bit. I feel like it's not very loud. I mean, I probably have my headset turned down a little bit, but hopefully for you guys. It's not going to make it too loud. I know my last recording um, of our USA Farm Series, Michigan, number, number 8, actually it was. I think, I don't know whether I was whispering or I had the microphone too far away from my face, but I kind of, it was tough to actually hear what I was saying. So I had to increase the audio gain a little bit post-recording, so hopefully that's not too bad. I guess we'll have to. Um, geez, that's loud. I'll have to wait and see. Um, all right, we'll skip through to our truck here once it wants to get started. So I don't know that. That sounds. I don't know. That sounds really loud to me. So I'll turn it back down. All right, so I need to remember where I went here. Went around this tree between. 
59 and we actually went into field 58 and then straight up to the left you should see a harvester up here somewhere it's actually very tight we're too tight to be bringing a truck and trailer through to be honest might have been able to get away with it without actually bringing bringing the trailer in Just fit under there. Such a tight fit. Jump out of there. Pull him up. We'll continue on, I think. Oh, there we go. Not much left anyway, so. Might have been able to get away with not bringing that trailer through. So I think now we don't have double yield, we probably won't need that extra trailer. So that's we could probably take that down to the shop and get rid of that as well and put a bit of extra money in our pocket for us to continue to improve. So I know that the truck's gonna be twelve and a half thousand and that's taking away a fair chunk of our income, but with this um sprayer here the Biardski it's only 400 litres I mean if that was bumped up to maybe 4,000 litres then I would buy it but I don't think um, that's going to be anywhere near enough because we, we I think well, if you guys play this game we all know that um, when you're spraying weeds the sprayer or the weed kill um, doesn't spray very far like it's it it comes out pretty quick so right, let's have a look at our job um, 80% done so I think um because there was no actual sell point during the game or in the initial build of this map um, the missions there were a lot of missions that were missing but now we've got that cell point put in that everything says to go to cell point 150 so for me to be able to put that in has allowed us to grab a lot more jobs than were actually there before so it is a good thing I think there's a few little spots we've missed up here I mean I know if we do pick it up one I'm really not going to get much out of it 628 6.30 pretty much next to nothing but I mean it's all going to add up hopefully give us just that little bit extra extra money maybe in our bank account as well So let's take this guy back. I think how are we going with time? Um, we're only about yeah 20 minutes in, so that was a pretty pretty quick field at the time. Um, and I know a lot of you guys have said um, time lapse stuff for this series um, in episode number two. We're still going to wait and see how the other boats come in, see how we go for it. Um, if we're going to do some time lapse stuff or not. I think on a field like that, we don't really need to do time lapse, but I'm thinking maybe with that field uh, 53, which is a harvest, maybe time lapse that because that's um, a much, much bigger field than the one we're on now. Right, so we've mowed a little bit around here, as you guys seen in that last episode. Um, that's one thing we can do is pick all that up as well. So we can make that. Um, our job for being allowed to store our equipment here is to have to come through and sounds terrible. Come through and mow everything, and then pick up the grass, and we can move it somewhere, dump it somewhere until later on. Um, and maybe we can, or maybe we can just sell it directly into there, make a little bit of money out of it. Right, 
helicopter, so we definitely didn't need this trailer on the back. Maybe for that bigger field, field 53 over there, we might need it. I mean, even then, we can always just go yeah, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. It's not urgent. Um, what's it worth? It's worth another six thousand dollars in our in our in our pocket. So I think um, it might pay to actually sell it. And then we can, you know, look at using that money. Something that's a little bit more worthwhile for us. Something that we actually need at the moment. So we'll drop that off. Head over to this cell point. Um, do we have a tip side left? Right. Doesn't really matter. Cover on. I do feel like this truck is actually pretty loud. Need to keep an eye on the top right so once it says it's completed. Oh, we've got a little bit of extra income. Uh, collect. Beautiful. So, so we've got a few weeding jobs available, but we might as well wait until the next day. So let's speed up time. So we kind of want to see if I can try and get us working from 7 to 7. Um, I don't want to be working all hours of the night. That's unrealistic. Um, obviously, the person that owns this area here and all the other local farmers don't want to hear harvesters and tractors and stuff going all hours of the night. So, um, keep an ear out. Um, do we still have our... Yeah, we do. Spread a trailer somewhere. All right, so what I might do is I might just sell that now and get rid of it. So we've got 38,000. We're so close to buying our own um, field down there. I think we need like 72, 75 maybe. So it's a fair few still harvesting jobs going. Uh, not going to do that one. Not doing that one. 63 and 63, 42, 54. So 63 and 42 is pretty much the only one we're going to do. 42. Where are we? 42. There. Oh, there we go. Should have known that. 63 and 66. It's 364. Not 65, so 63, 66, and 42. They're all pretty close to each other. Um, obviously, not the best prices, but we'll have to just wait until the next morning before we do anything like that. Um, so, we've got enough money to put a house down, but I don't want to go putting a house down. It's a shame we can't actually just skip the night from here somewhere. It's so much easier. So a bit of property maintenance, a bit of vehicle running costs. The seed and fertilizer there. I wonder if we've got we can get weed spray from there, that's good. So when we get our truck we can bring it straight to here and get it done. So I've put all these lights in as well to sort of brighten this place up. So I'm, all right, what I might do is now is just pause the video here, we'll come back when we hit 7 a.m. and we'll see what jobs are available. Right now guys, we're back. So I did decide we're going to pick up this guy. The LPG flanks the production. I don't know, the multi-car IFA W50 Flussig Dinger, I guess it's called. Cool. Start this guy up. So it's 7am. This guy is pretty loud as well. So it unfolds, lowers down, ready to spray. That is pretty cool. Um, there are a fair few fertilizing jobs. So two, three, four, five, six, oh, five, uh, six, six fertilizing jobs. So we can come back and do all those next episode, I think. Um, so what I'm going to do is head towards where all that other equipment is. 
I'm going to drop our speed back to 40, as I said. I'm not going to do any more than 40 around through the town of Maypole. Um, keep an eye on our map. We need to turn right up here somewhere. But, um, I know we threw a little bit of money at it, 12,500. Um, but I did get rid of our fertilizer spreader. Um, I just felt like it was kind of hard to keep track of where we have and haven't sprayed and or fertilized and this guy it's a lot more width so we'll get it done a lot quicker um, and then we'll also be able to use the weed kill as well sort of spray weeds and that sort of stuff so felt like it's probably a much better idea for us to be using this guy Hopefully you guys agree as well. So we'll come up to here and I'll grab a um, full load of fertilizer in the truck. I don't know how much this is going to cost, but no doubt we will make the money back once we get to the stage that we need to we need to start um, fertilizing those other fields. So I'm going to bring this up because I don't quite know how. There we go. So you get to choose either way. Good. So we're going to fill it right at the top. 6,000 litres. Just make sure we have more than enough. It's going to cost us a little bit. As you guys can see. Probably not too bad. 3,600. So it's really not a bad price. Um, we've got... I'm not quite sure if that grass is ready to cut yet. Should be. More, well, most of it is, not all of it, but grass is nearly ready to cut, so I think next episode we'll come back and um, do a fair bit of fertilizing again, a fair bit of spraying. I know you guys have already seen a little bit, but um, it'll be a bit different this time using our truck and our sprayer. So I'll shut that guy down. Um, they are exactly the same truck, just different things on the back. It's a shame we can't actually like take this off and load that on and then take that off and load that on and just have the one truck. That'll be um, a lot better but um, as I said we've got the manure spreader here as well so we can use that once we do happen to get cows or something later on. Um, I think I said fertilizing is probably going to be our next episode. We still need to continue to save a little bit of money to get up to that 72000 75,000 maybe to buy that field down the bottom um, but yeah I mean things are going pretty good I think we still need to be able to repair these guys we can't repair them yet until we get a workshop so we'll have to drive them down to the shop pay someone else to repair them for us when they get a little bit low but but yeah alright guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode if you did as always smash that like button leave a comment let me know if you think times three for prices on all the jobs is better than what it is at the moment. What it is at the moment is not enough, I don't think. Um, and let us know what you think we should turn that field into once we start down there. Field 42. Turn into grass or, you know, silage or just do animals or crops or whatever. You guys let me know what you think would be best. Now, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.